A junior colleague tries to tell you an easier way to solve a work problem. Do you A, take on board everything they say and give it a whirl, B, express limited openness to their ideas, probably, C, put your hands over your ears and hum till they stop talking. <laughs> that would be so grown up. OK, Alice, see, let's crank up the random selector. The gospel choir. So mm. what would they do? Well, they'd hum, wouldn't they? <laughs> um, in tune. <laughs> of course. These are the one, you know. These because you, you, you've, got, you've got to encourage. So if somebody's coming up with ideas and stuff, and but at the same time, you, you know. And as a gospel choir, they're going to be sort of God-fearing folk, so I think they, they take on board a little bit of the advice. And We're going to be completely wrong, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Let's have a look. You don't know what you're doing, then all advice is welcome, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll say that. B. We agree. B. A B. There you are. You said B and it was B. OK, that's a point to you. Simon, you're up next. Here's a clip about global warming that's bound to make a good impression. I'm Fiona Bruce. Standing up or behind the desk, it's all the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> the scientists from the University of Oregon say that animals are evolving to keep pace with global warming. Canadian red squirrels are breeding earlier, American eagles are migrating further south, and British animals have undone the top button of their shirt and started going, phew, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this really is me. Right. You argue with a friend that global warming is all hype, would you? He supplies you with excellent information and evidence that you are wrong. Do you, A, come over their viewpoint completely, B, give some ground and admit they may have a point, C, stick to your guns, resisting their arguments out of hand. So... Let's see who you've got. It's the veterinary nurses, but what do you think they said? Young, impressionable minds, right? But no one really likes saying, oh, no. you're, you must be right. The scientific to a point, so... Should so they're up for discussion. Let's B? go for B. 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 Let's see if you're right. Even if I knew I was wrong, <laughs> I couldn't believe I was right. <laughs> C. This next one's for you, Perry. Have a look at this clip of Kevin Keegan from Superstars in 1976. I would love it if he fell off his bike. I would love it. Trying to put a lot of pressure on. He's wobbling all over the track. Vance Mintz is just about a half a wheel up at the moment. And Keegan's still wobbling. Coming to the first pen. And Vance Mintz comes across. And Keegan's gone. Keegan touched the back wheel and he's gone across the track on his back. Covered in dust. That is a terrible crash. <laughs> oh, that looks sore. That Imagine looks... scabs. <laughs> oh... You're playing a game against a friend when you get injured. Your friend suggests you stop. Do you A, limp off apologising, you need to get it checked out. B, try to play for a bit before the pain gets too much. C, finish the game, you know your own limits better than they do. Let's see who you get for this one. Oh, it's those veterinary nurses again. If there were men, you see, we'd both go for C straight away, wouldn't yeah. we? I would always carry on. I broke my thumb in Strictly Come Dancing on a, a, a jive move where I had to go back and actually land on my head. He's hard, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> and do you know what I did? <laughs> no, I didn't so you made a song on the show, have you? And come down. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> my glitter was everywhere. <laughs> Put your tutu to one side right, for the question. Um, they are ladies, aren't they? Delicate ladies. Would they just sort of limp off, do you think? Not delicate ladies, they're what? women, they're veterinary nurses, no, I, professionals. I, I, I think it'd be B. I, mean, I, think they'd, I think they'd try to soldier on a little bit and then, okay. you know, they'd, no, they'd know when to stop. Perry says B. 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 Let's have a look. I would finish the gear. Would you? Uh -huh. Whether I had a leg hanging off or not, I'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> We're still paddling on. Okay, we'll go with C. So you are, those delicate ladies. Tough professionals, you see. Yeah. Right, Jenny, final question of this round. It is for you. Here's a classic example of why mules aren't the only animals known for their stubbornness. It's Blue Peter from 1969, and yes, yeah. it is that clip. Yeah. And you'll notice that she hasn't got any tusks, and actually, in Sanon, even the male uh, elephants don't have tusks. And, um, oh, we're having a slight penny down here. <laughs> a slight problem. Uh, get out of the way, I think. You're yes, supposed well. to be drinking it, Lulu. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Can you? Yes, I'll <laughs> 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 Well, I think we're going to see 
All sorts of very exciting things. <laughs> I should go that way. Martin. I should go that way. I should leave her here yeah, to have a drink, Alex. Like she's all right. Be all right yeah. uh, but one thing we no. must do, one very important thing before we leave, and that is to make sure that our animals are going to be as happy as and we're yeah. obviously going to Martin. be when we're on holiday. Oh, get off me foot! <laughs> oh, thanks very much. <laughs> well, our animals aren't going to be happy, in fact, because they're going away on holiday too. They're going to spend it out in the country, but Lulu won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> I did this children's program, a bit similar to Blue Peter, but not quite, Saturday morning show, and we had a, a, a dog, like a real dog, a little Cairn Terrier as part of the show, and we had Kylie Minogue in her dressing room, and I was chatting away to one of the production team with the dog on the end of the lead outside her dressing room, not knowing she's in there, and little Dino, but the little critter does a wee-wee and a poo-poo right outside the door, and they're going, poop the scoop, poop the scoop, <laughs> Kylie's in there, Kylie's coming out, ten seconds, poop the scoop. <laughs> How frequently do people accuse you of being stubborn? A, hardly ever, pretty easy going. B, sometimes, but they know I always back down if I'm wrong. C, often, but never to my face, unless they want an argument about it. Okay, Jenny, let's start up a random selector. The firemen. So what do you think they went for? Mm. See, basically, we're talking men, aren't we? Yeah. Men, macho. Yeah. Full of testosterone, mm. sort of want to be mm. decisive, yep. want to be stubborn, but probably not, and little puppies, really. Do you think? <laughs> Maybe they're willing. They know sometimes they're stubborn, mm -hmm. and they're, uh, they're willing to back down. OK. So should we say B? Yeah. B. <laughs> B. Let's have a look. A, I say, me. A. A. Never. Yeah, never stop. We'll say A. There, you see, you were wrong. So, so unpredictable. Simon well. and Jenny, that leaves you with one. Alec and Perry in the lead with two. Mm -hmm. So in the final round, where, as we all know, everything can change. There are eight points on offer. Simon and Jenny, your question. 